Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you came back. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I am your empath earth angel, and I was sent by the Lord to earth to deliver a very special message. Let's get into it. The chosen ones are naive. Yes, I said it. They're naive. And I know you're probably wondering, why is she talking about the chosen ones like that? <laughs> but not in a bad way. The chosen ones are naive because we don't go into relationships with people with ill intent. We are sincere with our friendships. We are sincere with our love towards anyone. You know, this can be our family. This can be, um, a, you know, a friend. This can be a partner, you know, a mate that we're interested in, a husband, a wife. We're sincere. We really are. And we give ourselves so easily that's naive. But you have to you have to you have to look at it like this. If you're not going into a relationship already plotting and planning on what you want out of that person or what you're going to uh what you're going to do to that person to get what you want. You're going in it naive. If you're not if you're not going in it plotting and planning, you're going in it naive because you don't Look at others that come into your life as if, oh, they want to do harm to me. Because we don't want to do harm to people. We have no reason to do harm to people. You know, the chosen ones enjoy life. The chosen ones, the way our life is, it's like we wake up in the morning. We're excited to see the sunrise. You know, we're excited to get up in the morning. Um, we are filled with joy. And this is usually on an every day for a chosen one. Even when we're going through our trials and tribulations, we are still happy. You know, we may get depressed from time to time, but overall we are we are naturally happy people. It's not until we open up that front door and the world begins to you know, go against us and people in our life begin to go against us. And, you know, once that phone starts ringing, that's only, you know, it's only then when all the drama starts. But if we didn't have to be exposed to any of that, the chosen ones would be naturally happy people. We're naturally happy people. And when we build relationships with people, we're going into it sincere. Okay. We're going into it for the long run. We're going into it Knowing that, you know, we're giving this person a piece of us because we value this person. If the chosen one even gives you a time of day, we value you. And see, that's where us as the chosen ones, that's where we make the mistake because we're valuing people that never deserved it. They never deserved it. And... Many times, you know, we got those red flags, chosen ones. You know we did. We got those red flags. You know, they do something or they say something. And what do we do? Blow it off. Oh, they didn't really mean it. You know, um, they didn't know no better. We always make excuses for people. You have to stop doing that. I know it's hard, but you have to stop making excuses for people. And you have to come to understand that yes people really are that bad <laughs> they really are that bad in the world I always find it funny when you know I release one of my truth speaking videos and then you always have you know a regular person I say regular a regular person come in my comments and um feel some type of way you know, because I'm calling myself the chosen one, they feel some type of way. And I always find it so interesting how they try to 
convince me, right? Because that's what they're doing. Trying to convince me that, oh, there are good people out there. <laughs> Not everyone, you know, that's your experience. Not everyone's like that. There are good people in the world. Who hurt you? No, it's just that the chosen ones, see, we speak our truth. We know how the world is. We know how people in the world is. And you're not going to be able to gaslight us anymore because we're speaking out about it. And we're calling it out. And we are demanding our peace. We are demanding our peace for the rest of our days on this earth. And we now are able to recognize the Decepticons, the fake, the fake ones, the narcissists, the predators. Chosen ones, we deal with predators on an everyday basis. It gets so overwhelming. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm tired today. I look tired. It gets overwhelming. So you really have to take your time out and, and literally like take a day off sometimes. Even if, you know, if you work a job, use that sick day. Use the sick day. Call in. I'm not coming to work today. Lay in the bed. Do whatever you want to do. Go out and get some sun. Go out and ground. Go out and do something. Because we have to recharge our energy. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. But... Back to the chosen ones being naive. Yes, we're naive. Because we don't go into relationships wanting to do harm. Like most people <laughs> come into our life wanting to do. Chosen ones, it's very, very rare that you will have somebody come into your life that actually um, does not have a motive. Usually nine times out of 10, Everyone that comes into your life, they have a motive. They want something from you. That's how powerful we are. They want something from you. Whether it's to humble you, whether it's to knock down your confidence, um, whether it's to, you know, get the blueprint on something that you're creating, you know, so that they can take over and try to make it like they did it. Um, whether it's to, you know, get inspiration from you, but not acknowledge you and give you, um, any compliments on whatever it is you're doing. It's something that everyone wants from us. We are the chosen ones. We're the chosen ones. And it really triggers. It really triggers the world when they hear us say that. But there's nothing you can do about it. We're coming to recognize who we are. We're coming to recognize our power. We're not backing down no more, okay? We're not being nice no more. We're not, you know, making excuses for people in our lives and people that, you know, try to come into our lives. We're not making excuses anymore. We're calling this behavior out. We know what's going on. The fact that so many chosen ones are dealing with the same thing all over the world, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? So just be aware that you are naive at times and just be careful and guard your heart and be careful with, you know, new people that want to come in your life. Just be careful and analyze them. Analyze them and scope them out from head to toe. Because we can be naturally naive. If we don't catch ourselves, we can really be naturally naive. Because we have a giving heart. We don't like to see people in pain. You know, we like to help people. We don't like seeing people hurt. But sometimes God is allowing people to hurt because guess what? That's their punishment from God, you know? God is teaching them a lesson. So you have to be real careful too, because if you step in and you prevent that lesson from manifesting in their life, you know, God could end up getting upset with you. So just use your discernment, be careful, and just be aware 
that we do have a tendency to be naive. Knowledge is power. And our naivety is good. It's not bad. It's good. But we do have to be aware of it. I thank you so much for sticking to the end of my video. If my message resonated with you, hit that subscribe button. Why not? Become a member of my community. I would love to have you in this space. Well, until that time again, God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. The universe loves you. <laughs> and you already know, your empath, earth, angel, I love you. I really do. <laughs> and also, I really hope to see you on my very next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>